giving you this week's highlights for the happenings of the week. We would like to thank all of our first time visitors for joining us in our worship experience and stick around. We would like to get to know you. Visit our welcome center and place your order for God is on our side, a powerful message that will benefit you by adding it to your collection. And if you've not already signed up to be a monthly partner with Barry Cheney Ministries, please do so as well. New Life, let's get ready for the 24th Annual Founders Day on Sunday, February 10th at 3 p.m. Hi, I'm Shirley Wilson, and I'm here to remind you of a very important day. On February the 10th, 2013 at 3 p.m., we will be celebrating our 24th Annual Founders Day. And I want to share with you something that John C. Maxwell once stated about his law and navigation. Anyone can steer the ship, but it takes a leader to chart the course. And for over 24 years, Apostle Barry T. Cheney, our founder, has navigated and charted the course of New Life Christian Center with a heart like David. He has ran this race with grace and tenacity. Now, I'm not going to tell you that he wouldn't tell you that it hasn't been challenging. But when God sent Apostle Barry T. Cheney, he sent a navigator and a leader who has shouldered this ministry through many challenges with the power of God. Apostle has combined the positive with the negative and taken charge and led his sheep to solid ground. So I'm asking all of you to help me make this day a wonderful occasion and prepare your hearts to be a blessing to our man of God. So set the date, February the 10th, 2013 at 3 p.m. I'll see you there. Along with the Founders Day festivities will be Bishop Craig Bayman of Holy Temple Cathedral Church of God in Christ of Memphis, Tennessee. But I came to tell you tonight that there's a word from the Lord and God is saying your present condition is not your conclusion. Because God said, I've already orchestrated a plan. And if anybody in here tonight know the voice of God and know that God would not lie, you will know that this is the word from the Lord. God said, your status is about to change. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Make plans to attend. On Friday, February 22nd, the Memphis Grizzlies will host a gospel night, which includes a game with the Grizzlies against the Orlando Magic and a concert by Hezekiah Walker. So, you get two great events for the price of one. Make plans to attend. So, for those who signed up, your money is due today, so see Elder Beverly. Let's not forget that next Sunday is College Sunday. That's right, so remember the dress is casual and the college students will be fed, but you have to attend service in order to eat. Attention members of New Life, the college student care package drive is still going on. Items are needed such as lotion, toothpaste, laundry detergent, along with other items. So the next time you're in the store, pick up some of these items for the care packages. Attention Kingdom Men, it's that time of year again. That's right, Super Bowl 47 will be here on February 3rd. With that being said, Let's not forget this year's theme of outreach. So brothers, invite another brother to come along with you. But remember, they must have a pass to get in. See Apostle Cheney for detail. Hi, I'm Elder Beverly. We thank God for allowing us to see the year of 2013. The Lord has blessed us individually and he's blessed new life. I appreciate each of you for your giving in 2012. We're in a new year and we want to do bigger and better things. This is the year of change, and as God has given us the increase and allowed us to see another year, 
I want to challenge each of you to purpose in your hearts to increase in your giving. I challenge you to increase your offerings this year, beginning today. So if last year, if you gave a $10 offering, let's try $20 this year. And also for annual days, Founders Day, First Family Day, Thanksgiving and Christmas, I encourage you to take advantage of the income tax season and pay your assessments then. Whatever works for you, let's not procrastinate and let's make the year of 2013 the best year ever. We would like to say happy birthday to Wilford Daniels on today, Jasmine Curry on the 21st, Lazita Bowen on the 22nd, Winston Dyer on the 23rd, and Curtis Harrell on the 26th. So from New Life, happy birthday, and we wish you many, many more. Add us on Facebook at New Life TN and Apostle Barry T. Cheney. And visit our websites at newlifetn.org or barrycheneyministries.org to keep up with the happenings of the week. New Life, what it is, it's the Kid GP. Listen, last week I talked about dreams. I hope and I pray that y'all remember that at least. I know y'all attention span kind of slow, kind of short these days, but I'm going to work with you. But anyway, New Life, I talked about dreams last week. And what better way to transition into this week than to talk about a man who had the dream New Life. I'm talking about none other than Dr. Martin Luther the King. You know, I met Dr. Martin Luther King once. And you lying. You ain't never met Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah, I met Dr. Martin Luther King in 1962 in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm walking down the street, minding my own business, just walking off, feeling good. I walk around the corner, man woke up, hit me in my chest, right? I fall on the ground, right? And I look up at Dr. Martin Luther King, I say, Dr. King. He said, oops, I thought you were somebody else. Oh, man, you lying. You ain't never met Martin Luther the King. Knocked the wind out of me. Yes, he did. No, it didn't. Yes, he did. No, he did not. New Life, I will not lie to you. I promise. I met Dr. Martin Luther King. I remember it like yesterday. 1995, we got on this yellow bus. And we went to Memphis, and we went to the Civil Rights Museum. Boom! There he was. He was everywhere. Nose, video. And I never did say he was alive, but I met him, New Life. Trust me, I met him. And what better way than to celebrate this man's life who was a pioneer than to watch one of his dreams being fulfilled tomorrow? I'm talking about none other than President Barack Obama! Hallelujah! Can I get a hand clap? Hallelujah! Let me stop playing. But the second inauguration, I'm not talking about the first one. I, the second one, the second one, you know how big of a deal this is? It's going to be everywhere. You ain't got to worry about what time it come on. Yeah, you do. Come on at 11 o'clock Central Time. I just told you. But anyway, it's going to be everywhere. If you can't watch it, please TiVo it, DVR it. Watch it on the computer. This is a big deal. Watch history being made twice. Not one time, but twice. So New Life, let's remember this man. Let's pay homage to this man. This man practically laid down his life for us so we can have a better one. It's the Kid GP. I'll see you next Sunday.